Here on Earth Unplugged, we've filmed some incredible flying animals from giant golden eagles right down to tiny hummingbirds. And one of the most difficult shoots we've had to do is filming dragonflies in the wild. But when we heard that some robotic engineers in Stuttgart had produced flying robots of these creatures, mm. we had to take a look. So we're here with Dr. Henry Frontsek, who's done some incredibly lifelike animals here. How, how and why did you start this? So we started this uh, years ago because uh, um, we thought as an engineer uh, in the automation business, uh, it makes sense to look into nature mm. for inspirations. The smart bird uh, uh, was invented uh, three years ago uh, when we uh, learned from nature how a bird is flying. We decoded the bird flight mm. finally, but the role model is the seagull and uh, all the capabilities of the bird are inside that robot. And is this just a proof of concept? Is it just because you wanted to replicate a bird or has this got applications in other areas? No, it's not about developing uh, drones or flying robots. No, it's. Uh, it's a technological beer. This is a, a platform for us where we have technology inside that bird, which is very useful and right. helpful for our business. For example, energy efficiency, lightweight design, mm. functional integration to keep it in a small body, the communication between controls and that complex system in the air. All this we need in our daily business, solving problems uh, at our customer base. It's having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> How similar is it to birds? Because most of their flight feathers, they have uh, what's called remiges on their wings, which is where they get most of their power, and then rectrices on their tail feathers, which sort of guide them around a lot of the time. Yes. Is that what's going on here as well? We have capabilities inside that we have not only the, uh, the flapping mechanism, but also the twisting, mm. the, the roaring. And uh, that gave us the final, this high ratio of efficiency. This is the twisting at the right moment when the amplitude, the frequency and the twisting angle, that makes it the small frame of control processes yeah. and that's a very, very difficult to reach. Not only have you got this amazing smart bird, but you've also got these incredible dragonflies here. Yes. I mean, can you talk us through what's going on? With these capabilities of the real dragonfly, our flying robot is able to hover mm. like a helicopter, gliding. So everything is on board inside uh, this body. This dragonfly is printed with a 3D printer. Oh, that's cool. Every part here is printed, uh, it's coming uh, out of uh, plastic powder. So Dr. Frontek, how difficult are these robots to fly? So we are using this smartphone and we can uh, maneuver this, you see here. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's Move it. Dragonflies often have uh, what's called a pterostigma, which is a little sort of slightly heavier part of the wing just at the end, which just sort of slightly solidifies it and stops it resonating in high winds. But I imagine for you that might be a, a complexity you don't necessarily need when you've got nice metal rods going through or things like that. We don't want to copy nature. Mm. The dragonfly should not be copied. But the inspiration coming out of this uh, system that nature developed, this is uh, 
uh, really uh, worth to think about. It. Absolutely. Dr. Fronsek, thanks so much for having us today. It's been an absolute pleasure coming to Festo and seeing these guys at work. I think it's been just an incredible slow-mo shoot. Having filmed the real thing and robots, it's just both are equally as cool. It's nice to do it indoors, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you guys have enjoyed today. We've had an absolutely awesome day filming robots instead of real animals. <laughs> and, uh, and it's just been incredible. Absolutely. And if you like what you saw as well, do subscribe to the channel for more amazing science videos. And if you want to see more of this little guy in action, do click on him. And if you want to see more of Smartbird, click on him before he takes off. <laughs> see you next time.